Hey, this is Rob at artforkidshub.com and I got a cool, awesome kid with me. Okay, looks like you're gonna be in the opera when you grow up, huh? <laughs> what are we gonna do today, Chuckers? Um, we're gonna draw a parrot. We're gonna draw a parrot. Awesome. Sounds so cool. You ready? Got your marker? We're gonna start with our papers like this. Straight up and down. And do you remember drawing the owl? Yeah. Yeah? We're gonna start a little bit like the owl because this is a bird that has talons. So we're gonna, remember we did W's and that was for his talons? So we're gonna start with W's again, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. So about in the middle of the page, we're gonna draw a W like that and another W right next to it. We're gonna, these are kind of contour lines because the, the bird is, the parrot is gonna be grabbing a branch and the branch is round. Then you can put curved lines to close the W. Yep, and curve line on top. Good job. And then we're gonna draw the branch that he's sitting on, and that can just be kind of a, a, a wiggly line that comes between his Good, You're gonna, you ended all the way at the page, but that's okay. Oops. Go ahead, draw the other one, and you could draw it short right here. Okay. Just draw the second one short. Uh... Like mine. Okay. Good job. And the reason why is we're gonna draw some of the bird that, some of the parrot that comes down over there. And then we're gonna draw a oval here, which is like a foreshortened circle. And then we can also just put a contour line on the end, and that looks like the end of the stick is just kind of floating. Good job. Okay, let's draw his belly. And his belly is just going to be a curved line that comes down. Just like the owl. Just like the owl. And then he's going to be, this parrot's going to be a little bit to the side. So now we're going to draw his back and his wing. And we're going to start about here. And then we're going to draw a big curved line that comes down. Good job. And that's kind of why I didn't want you to go all the way, but that's fine. If we had a pencil, you could erase it. So now we're gonna draw his wing. And his wing is gonna have, it's gonna be a curved line that comes down to his foot. And then it's gonna pick up right below his foot and into the wing, into the rest of his wing right there. So now this stick looks like it's in front. Doesn't the stick look like it's in front of his wing? Mm -hmm. Yep. So now we're ready to draw his tail. And we're going to draw one line that comes out and then another line that comes down. Yep. And then we're going to make some feathers in here. So we're just going to make the feathers by making these curved lines and just make the best looking feathers you could make. And his tail is overlapped, so you can kind of make it messy. Yeah, good job, checkers. That's awesome. Good. Draw a couple more. Perfect. Yes, good job. Okay, so let's finish his wing. And we're going to draw a bumpy kind of feather line here the top of his wing and then we're going to do the same thing that we did on his oh excuse you and then we're going to do the same thing we did here on his tail but we're going to do it for his feather and we're going to make short feathers first okay so don't make just make some that come halfway down you kind of have to overlap them Good. Now we're going to make the long ones, and the long ones are just going to be lines that come from those feathers all the way to the end. Good. Good 
job checkers. Keep going. Almost there. I mean, you could call this feathery feather. <laughs> <laughs> Our feathery friend. How about that? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Good. Okay, now what we're missing is the other wing over here. And we'll just draw, draw him in the background and do the same thing. Just make some straight lines to finish that bottom off. Good. Okay, what's he missing? I think we're done. Are we no, done? Oh. The head. <laughs> let's finish. <laughs> let's finish our parrot. So we're gonna start by. Uh, we're almost running out of room, but we're gonna draw just this curved, big curved line, right there. Top of his head, and it's also his beak. We don't really do the head first. I like know, this one last. we did, we are doing the head last. We usually do the head first, huh? Mm -hmm. And we're going to draw a curved line. That's going to be the, his first, his top beak. Yep. And then a curved line down. And then a big curved line up. And that's okay if they don't meet yet. And then we're going to close his beak like that. Good. Okay, let's draw his eye. We're just gonna do a little circle and then color it in and leave a little light catcher. And then let's draw the top of his head. So parrots have a lot of color and so this line is gonna separate some of the co that color. And then draw another line right behind his eye down to his beak, good. And then another line, kind of starting from the same spot. And then we'll come up and then finish his, his neck. Good job, <laughs> look at that. So you can connect that right there. Yep, perfect. And then let's draw a little tongue in there. Parrots have tongues, huh? Long tongues. Long tongues. And then what we could do is we could color in his beak, since a lot of them have black beaks. Good job. Using the side of your marker? Mm -hmm. Doing a good job. Okay, and then we can make one little, last little thing, and that's kind of the, that's the design that's on, right by his eye. <coughs> and we just make a couple lines like that. And there we go. Look at that. Look at your parrot. Is that the coolest? That is a real looking parrot, huh? It's not very cartoony. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool looking parrot, huh? Yeah. I like it. Was that fun? Give me five. Wait, one more All time. right. One more time. Hiya. Oh. Yes. <laughs>